we had to dig 52 piers, okay, to hold this deck up so that it will never fall again because the foundation is stone. And because it's stone, we had no way to attach the deck to the house. So we had to do what's called a freestanding deck, where it is that you pour two piers all the way around it to hold the deck up so it's free and that it can take the movement. Why we added this stone in the front and built it up, because the code is 30 inches, and if you build it up and only have a 30 inches, you don't have to put a railing around the house. So we decided to do that so that we didn't obstruct the view. We have really great ocean views and we have a beautiful view of the golf course. And pretty soon, once all the leaves are gone, we literally have a panoramic view of the ocean. If you can imagine, it's like a ramp, okay? It's seven inches higher here than it is in the front, okay? So if you put a marble here, that thing's gonna race towards the front of this house. So when you walked in this bedroom, Right, this is right below downstairs where that whole house was coming down. So imagine that this was much lower. All the, all the sheetrock and everything was cracking because the house was literally sinking into itself. Once we jacked up the basement, we put the beam system in the first floor, jacked that up again, and what that did was it leveled off the second and third floor so that we could continue on with the project. We wanted to have a, a really nice kitchen, a place to sit and gather, have dinner you know, for holidays and stuff and then a really nice living room with a fireplace, a see-through fireplace is what we created because there was a double fireplace on either side and then a surround and then somewhere that we can entertain. So we got the pool table, we got the golden tea and we have darts and the, you know, the TV up on the, where the old fireplace used to be over there in the kitchen. We covered that up because it wasn't that great and now we can watch football on Sundays. We're putting these decorative stair coverings over these. It's gonna be beautiful black spindles we're reusing the original railing this is going to be a decorative post that holds it but because we're reusing the decorative railing uh, the original 200 year old railing we don't have to raise it up to today's standards the town is allowing us to keep it there it's actually more comfortable and it gives it a cool little dimension this used to be i don't know what they were doing but they kind of like must have put gates so that kids couldn't come up here or whatever so there used to be a thing so what they did was they, they notched out, you can see that they notched out these side posts and the railing. And what Zibby's doing is he's creating a new wood piece so that we can make it look original. So that when we sand it down and use the compound, it's gonna make it look like nothing ever happened to it. A hundred years ago, they added this, this beautiful bump out, but they didn't support it. And actually what's crazy to me is it's framed this way. Normally it would be framed this way so it's nice and strong and it can hold the weight of the roof above and the structure. So what we had to do outside on the deck was we had to pour two more posts down in the ground, add supports, okay, to hold this up and level it out, okay? So now it's nice and level. Also, if you can imagine, this was framed the exact same way. So from here to there, this literally dropped down six inches. And what we did was we put two support beams and another header outside under the deck and poured more footings down there. And we had to jack this up and level this out as well. So this is a 13 foot by seven foot hot tub with a waterfall, okay? This thing can be anywhere from 70 degrees up to 104. We like to keep it at 103. That's a nice comfortable temperature. It's a concrete casket. Okay, we'll call it without a top. They towel the inside, they make steps so that you can go down into it very nice and easy. And then really what we do is we exercise in this, in this tub. So we chose this part of the patio to put the pool because when you're hanging out in the pool, you have a beautiful view of the ocean. Although it's, it's a little covered by the trees right now, during the winter time, it's really nice, but you have a plenty of room and the big um, cargo ships that go by, they go by every, about every 30 minutes. And it's really cool to see at night, they're all lit up and you can hear them coming. Ju -ju 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 -ju. And then this huge ship goes by and then every 30 minutes, either one goes that way or one goes that way and we get to catch it. If you can dream it, we can build it. Call the whale.